Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and Red Bull has just released its winter edition, and it is a pomegranate flavor, and I am not sure how I feel about that. Coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and if you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one on the weekends. And in today's video we're going over the brand new Red Bull flavor. It is their winter edition and it is a pomegranate flavor. Now I never really thought of pomegranate as being a winter type flavor but then again I really don't relate fruits to many of the seasons. I, I mean like banana. Well, what season is banana? Orange. Apple. Well, okay, apple. Apple could be sort of like a fall kind of feel to it, but in general, you don't really relate fruits to, to the seasons. So, so I'm not exactly sure what they were thinking, but Red Bull's winter edition is a pomegranate flavor. So in this video, I am first going to have a little monologue about my thoughts on Red Bull as of recently, as well as their lack of new releases, and then we will jump into the taste test. Timestamps and chapters down below, just in case you really want to just go to the taste test. It, it, that didn't rhyme, I know. Now, if you didn't know, Red Bull is the number one selling energy drink worldwide. And it can be a little bit shocking because of a couple of things. First off, people always complain about the price. It is one of the higher price energy drinks out there, but I always combat that by saying, well, you know, it's not really that much more expensive and you're paying for a quality product because most of their drinks are really good. The second thing is they don't actually have a ton of drinks, nor do they come out with many new ones at all. I mean, you guys who regularly watch my channel, when's the last Last time I did a Red Bull review compared to all the other companies. And the way they work is that they have an original lineup, those drinks stay on the shelves, and those main flavors usually just stay on the shelves until one's not really selling well and they discontinue it, just like many other companies do. The problem is they don't come out with a lot of new flavors. It's only been over, let's say, the last four to five years that they started doing this thing where they have a winter edition and a summer edition. And the winter edition, I, I think, is somewhat new too. For a while, they were just doing summer edition. And occasionally, just occasionally, they'll toss in a new flavor besides the winter and summer edition just to give us a new flavor. But overall, it is not a lot of new drinks. And if it is a drink that actually does well, they will actually bring it into the regular line. If it doesn't do well, well then they just say, well it was the winter edition and then it goes away. But in the past four years, there have only been two drinks that they released as a summer or winter edition, and not even winter edition because none of the winter editions have made it into the regular line. So it's only been the watermelon and the coconut berry that have been powerful enough to make it into their regular line. As of right now, October 2021, I think that they only have 10 flavors. 10 flavors that are on the market because that's actually what they have on their website. If there are any other ones in stores right now, they could be taking it off the market because they really do keep up with their website and the current flavors, and there's only 10. And to put that into perspective for the other companies, G Fuel has released more flavors just this year than Red Bull has ever had in their entire line, and that's including new drinks and old drinks. <laughs> G Fuel has flooded the market a bit. But the fact is you usually have to offer new flavors so that people have something new to try, something to get excited about. And even Bang, Bang announced uh, several years ago that they wanted to actually release one new flavor each quarter, and that's just in their regular line. That's not including their iced tea line, their keto line, and any other new lines that they actually come up with. Monster and Rockstar, they're always coming out with new flavors. <laughs> and Ray's, don't get me started on Ray's. Ray's is the king of limited edition flavors and they're pumping out those limited editions left and right. But unfortunately, not a lot of people can get their hands on them because not only is it limited edition, it's limited quantities. But still, Red Bull, with its very small offering, is still the number one selling energy drink in the world. Now, will that ever change? It's hard to say because they're actually uh, ahead of the second largest energy drink company, Monster, and Monster's sales are actually a few billion dollars behind Red Bull. But that doesn't mean any of these companies won't catch up. With Bang and Monster competing so hard against each other, they're coming out with lots of amazing flavors, lots of amazing drinks. And a lot of companies are actually catching up to them too because they've made it such a competitive market that these other companies have to be competitive. And I think 
everybody is going to be stepping up their game that over the next couple of years, maybe Red Bull might actually start falling behind unless they change their business strategy. But as of right now, they really don't need to. Now, even though they have brand recognition and they have a lack of drinks, I was actually just looking at my Caffeine Man rating chart recently. And I was actually kind of surprised because I never really looked at it in depth and compared one company to the other. And what I did was I actually added up all the scores of each flavor, divided it so I could get the average, and there was at least five companies that I did that for that actually rated higher than Red Bull on the Caffeine Man rating chart. So in my opinion, these companies actually scored higher than Red Bull as a company. And I should actually, how many, leave me a comment down below, how many of you would like to see a company comparison? I could actually, you know, rather than saying, here's the top 10 energy drinks, here's the top 10 flavors, here's the top 10 caffeine, I could actually do the top 10 Caffeine Man rated companies and then in the, in the, in the thumbnail, I could put companies all in caps so people know that uh, it's not just a flavor of energy drink, it's a company as a whole. That's actually, I like that idea. So if you guys like that idea, let me know below. Maybe I'll get it going in a couple weeks. All that being said, let's go ahead and taste out this Red Bull Winter Edition pomegranate flavor. Just gonna grab it from a caffeine man fridge and there is no easy way for me to segue into another drink because there are, aren't really many other pomegranates out there and these drinks have a lot of sugars and the things that I promote don't have any sugar. So let me just tell you, if you didn't know, I am sponsored by C4. So if you're looking to pick up any C4 flavors, they have a great regular line. They have the ultimate line and they have my favorite drinks out of them all is the smart energy because it has nootropics and the flavors are really great too. So it's an extra added bonus. And they just released that super popular line right there. C4 Starburst collab. The stuff is selling like hotcakes. However, hotcakes sell. I've had hotcakes and they're okay. Uh, C4 Starburst is selling probably better than hotcakes. Check out c4energy.com and you can save 20 to 30% off when you use coupon code caffeine man. That code also also works on the Sell Your Car website and the Extend website if you're interested in any of those products. And here's the can for you. Fairly basic can. They've switched their logo a couple of times, uh, just the placement of the logo on the can. So they have done a little bit of refreshing of the packaging now again, but pretty much it's looked the same for quite a while. They don't get too funky with their graphics. They basically put a color on here so you get an idea of what the flavor is. But overall, they go with what works and it actually does have a good aesthetic look to it, the way they've actually placed all of the text and the logo. But when you're a multi-billion dollar company, you're gonna know all the tricks for having a greatly designed can in its simplest form. There we go, we got a nice dark red color going for kind of a pomegranate-y kind of color. And in general, in a lot of my reviews, uh, I do tend to go over all the numbers on the can and such. But when I do a company that I've already reviewed before, I usually don't go over the numbers, but I do put them up during the taste test so that you can see them. But overall, a lot of the Red Bull drinks are the same. Uh, just to give you a quick idea, this has 160 calories, 40 grams of carbs, and 38 grams of sugar in this 12 ounce can. I'm pretty sure the eight ounce can has 26 grams of sugar. So yeah, these are definitely high in sugar, almost as high as Monster. And actually, if you go up to the 16 ounce can, you'll have just about the same amount of sugar as Monster. So even though it shows less sugar on the can, percentage wise, it is the same as all your other energy drinks. Yeah. All right, so on this drink, uh, it doesn't go that high carbonation like some of the other ones. I'm not sure if it's just for this flavor because I do know some of the other Red Bulls are pretty high in carbonation, but I would actually say that this one's got kind of a medium carbonation. As for your sweetness, you are getting a medium to high sweetness, but when we get into that flavor profile, that's actually gonna pull back. There's a touch of a tartness to it, and it's pulling back on a little bit of that sweetness. And with 38 grams of sugar, it should be just a touch sweeter, but um, maybe they don't wanna go too sweet because they don't want to take away from the pomegranate flavor. And uh, for the flavor profile, I'm also going to say that is a medium to high flavor profile, closing in on high because they are giving you uh, a lot of flavor in here. And I think it is relatively accurate to what a pomegranate flavor would taste like 
in an energy drink so you are getting that pomegranate feel out of it you are getting a, a touch of tartness i didn't get it too much on the first sip but then i went back in for that second sip and you got a little bit of it and uh, I, i'm not a huge fan of it but that is my own personal preference it is similar to uh, pomegranates are similar to like a, a cranberry-ish or grape kind of flavor i'm talking like the natural grapes not those super sweet grapes in energy drinks or soda but overall pomegranate flavor is pomegranate flavor and uh it's just tough if you have an actually drank a lot of pomegranate to describe it so you try and describe it like other uh, more common fruits this is similar to like cranberries and, and it's not cranberry because they actually discontinued their cranberry flavor because after numerous years it, it wasn't selling as well as the other drinks so they discontinued it there were a lot of people upset by it but I think they'll be happy that they brought a pomegranate flavor on because it should bring on those cranberry people that they lost but still open it up to more people that like pomegranate flavors because it's sort of a, if you have any cranberry flavor in there, it is extremely minimal. And technically it's not cranberry, it is pomegranate. It's similar to cranberries. Well, let's keep moving on. The flavor is pretty good. I think it is a decent drink. I think it'll sell pretty well for the winter, but um, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be something that is going to be brought into their regular line, unfortunately, for all those cranberry lovers. But obviously, there's not that many cranberry lovers because they just continued it. So where is it going to be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? It's pretty good, but it's not really blowing me away or anything, so I am actually going to give it an 8.4. It's pretty good, but I think it is going to have sort of a niche audience. I think people are going to try it out just for the sake of trying the new Red Bull flavor out, but only be repurchased by a smaller percentage of people, in my opinion. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. I do have some more new energy drinks coming up this week. I do actually have a new flavor from a company that just released a brand new entire revamp line this summer. They just came out with a new flavor, so I'll be doing that this week. And I might, I might, I might. It's really hard to get bonus videos in now that I do two videos a week. But I might be getting you guys a bonus video. Depending on when I get a package in the mail, someone is sending me a drink that I know you guys are going to go crazy for. Because I don't think it's been released yet. It's always great to get a video out on a drink that hasn't been released yet. It might be released this week, I don't know. But I will be getting you a review hopefully quicker than most people on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today, and until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. <laughs>